get into the details of what the itinerary would hold, like what you do during which times, mm -hmm. because that's going to be a whole separate reaction. Okay. Why don't we get into quickly our thoughts on the pricing and if you'd ever do this? Because, mm -hmm. I mean, I think we've all been wanting to go there, but we've you got to get all the information out first. So here we yeah. go. So who wants to go first? This is going to be tough because is it is this can't be a is it worth it conversation because whether it's worth it or not means a lot of different things to a lot of different people right sure um, you know is it worth it to stay at the Grand Floridian is it worth it yes to go to Cinderella's Royal Table is it worth it to do you know so those are hard conversations to have mm -hmm. I just know for me personally and my budget this is a hard sell and it does. But I'm not also that person that's crying on the internet about why is it so expensive? It's not fair. It's hey, it is what it is, man. Like I didn't cry about it when they built the uh, the Riviera Hotel and I couldn't afford to stay there. You know, it's like this is a premium experience, and people that can afford it can afford it, and people like me cannot. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so what am I going to do? You know, uh, it is what it is. So. I think, you know, if I look at that price, right, let's just say 6,000 because it's most people have four people in their family at least, right? Sure. So let's just call it 6,000. You know, that if you are a hardcore Star Wars fan, then I think you can do 6,000 for this experience. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I don't think so. <laughs> I already had to figure out like, which kid am I going to take? So there's just two <laughs> of us. You that's know? rough. That's rough. And that's that's pushing it even like with, with that price. But so um, I want to kind of I want to kind of say something to your point there, Lee, mm -hmm. but I don't want to really say it. And I want to let these other guys have their say first before, uh, you know, like, unless y'all really don't have anything to say on this, unless y'all just like mm, I'm, I'm laying back. I, I really don't have much. Now, I was listening to what he said. He had some fair points. I thought as he a did. Star he did. Wars fan, he'd have been like, man, I, I'll figure this out. I, I'll, I'll whatever. But I hear you. As far as the price, um, okay. Well, right. You want to let you want to piggyback on it Did first. Take it it I, I can piggyback on yeah, it. I just don't want to affect y'all's opinion by what I'm about. It's to already say. affected. Oh, no, good. Too I, late I now. It, it affected it already. Time to go home. <laughs> <laughs> so what I would say to what Lee said, yes, if you're looking at this from the standpoint of a family going to Disney, in the sense that it's me, it's my wife, and it's our two kids, this might be too pricey, but I don't look at this as being so much a hotel as kind of like a fantasy baseball camp with elements of a, like, if you did a fantasy, like if you, you know how like the Yankees or Dodgers, they do these fantasy baseball camps and they charge upwards of like $5,000 for you to come out there and you put on the jersey and you play on the field and it's like you're one of the team and they bring out these legends and they come out and they show you some tips of the game and stuff like that and people pay a fortune. Oh, it's kind of like those rock and roll camps where they get to be a rock and roll star, right? For a day. That's for a day. Yeah. That is what I look at this. I mean, people I see people comparing it like, "Oh, let's look at cruise prices." Those, yeah, cruise prices if you're going with your family. To me, this isn't necessarily a family style type of thing. Not necessarily. It could be if your family is this deep into Star Wars, God bless. Yeah, do it and pay the money to do it if you can afford it. And if you can't, well, then, you know, I'm sorry. It works out this way. But to me, this is a once in a lifetime type of experience. You know, people don't complain about paying $5,000 for Super Bowl tickets. People don't complain about spending anywhere from $500 for a ticket to upwards of 2000 to see the Rolling Stones in concert. People don't complain about spending anywhere from 500 to a thousand dollars for broadway tickets this is that type of experience there's no place in the world other than disney where you can get this type of experience where you're dropped into a story you're dropped into a star wars movie and you roll with it again i don't look at it like as a vacation with me and my four i would look at this if, if the four of us said you know what? We're grown men. We want to go over there and we want to role play and we want to get, because I mean, come on, kids are going to get tired of this. Kids well, aren't yeah. Gonna, yeah, kids this, yes. are not going to play like young kids. Really? I mean, what are they going to want to go into the parks and ride the ride? Exactly. Right. Like, That's what we're, they do. Yeah, we're in Disney. Okay, so now we're going to go to model shipbuilding, little Timmy. 
but I want to ride pirates. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we're going to do pirates. We're going to learn how to do sabak. Like yeah, Star Wars. Sabak. Learn, I don't want to play cards. I want to, I want to ride Tower of Terror. Tough. Yeah. The Tower of Terror is you keep talking, put your tattoo <laughs> Well, that's, that's but that's also part of the that's also part of the equation is that okay again I haven't experienced this myself but to me it's like okay I'm gonna drop the money I'm okay. gonna take my son because he, of, uh, of the whole family he's the biggest Star Wars fan sure. and I want him to experience it all right cool mm -hmm. and then we're going home no you're already in Florida you know you gotta go to you know, when you leave there, you got to go over and stay at, uh, you know, wherever Port Orleans for five more days and go to the rest of the parks. No, you don't. But, you know, no, you don't. You know, but I'm just saying, if like, you're going that, with that's a, where I'm looking at it from. No. Again, if you're going with a kid, you have to. Mm -hmm. If you and your buddies, I mean, you've got to be the most ardent Star Wars fan in the world to want this. Yep. If your kid's already like, yeah, we're going to Disney, but what else are we going to do besides that Star Wars stuff? You're already taking the wrong person. Mm -hmm. He could be the biggest Star Wars fan in the world but you're taking the wrong person if he's like, yeah, we're going to do this once in a lifetime exclusive experience that not too many people are going to do. There's only a hundred rooms. It's not like Disney wants everyone to experience this thing. This is for the most passionate, ardent fans in the universe to come and do this in a place that only they can do it. And the mindset, yeah, I get it. Kids are going to be like, yeah, what else are we doing? You're totally right. Mm -hmm. But that's not why you do it like that, unless you just have so much money that you can afford to do it like that. And you're like, yeah, shut up. We're going to Pirates later. Don't worry. We've got, a, you know, three more nights at the Contemporary after this. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. yeah. This is blood a drop. In the we'll market. be eating at Narcuzzi afterwards. No, just be relaxed, son. Relax. This has to mean something. It really has to mean something to you. And if it means something to you and you can find three other buddies to go ahead and split a standard cabin and make that work, this isn't that much money. Right. This, re this really yeah. is not that much money. I mean, you're talking about, what was it? Uh, what, uh, 1500 a person at that. If it's 6000 for four people, that's what, $1,500 a person, Lee? Yeah, I mean, that is actually, um, let me go back to the actual pricing. It's 6000 for four people? 6000 for four people. You break 6000 uh, six for yeah. two, two nights. nights. Two nights. Yeah. That would be $1,500. $1, yeah. 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 Yep. Wouldn't that be it? So then yeah, you 6, subtract. Now, subtract the cost of the dining plan, which is like, what, 120 a day? Mm -hmm. That's like $240. Take that off of there because they're including dining in with you. That's cheaper than going to vacation anywhere else for, for a week. Exactly. Take take half the cost of a what's a park ticket like the standard 100 price bucks. Like 100, 100 bucks 110 eh, 100 110 let's call it 50 let's say 50 subtract 50 dollars off the cost of your price of your room then now you're down to about what six 600 for the cost of your room that's right up there with any room that you would get at Grand Floridian at Polynesian I'm talking about rack rates before discounts mm -hmm. that's about what you would be paying and you're not even taking into account the immersive, interactive, the actors and actresses who are going with you and giving you your own storyline. It's not that bad. It's just, it's how you look at it and who this is for. And admittedly, I do think it's for a very niche, little small group of people. Yes. But all the complaining about this, like I can't take, you know, all three of my kids and do this because it's just too much money. Well, it's not meant for that. I don't think this is what they're going for. And if that's what they're going to end up accepting, yeah, it's going to be over time as as prices either go down or they have, hey, you know, book with us between this month and that month and we'll take 25 percent off the price of your a coupon day. Coupon. There you go. Yeah, I mean, you got to take a chance to complain yeah. or something like this. I mean, I'm sorry. Lee, I was just, no, it's, like, just, it's just that if you if you look at this as why am I paying this much to stay at this hotel, then you're never it, the price will never be right. Yes. Right. You know, there's no way that you can justify it. It's not what it is. Well, I mean, the, the the key the key factor here is is that you gotta stay on this hotel. You you the hotel yep. is your vacation, mm -hmm. and if that's the case, like I'm I'm a Star Wars fan, but I'm not like a diehard Star Wars. Fan. Like in other words, like I've, I've you're I've a seen fan, not a fanatic. Movies. Yeah, I'm not a fanatic, but uh, I'm saying if you're a person that goes to like a convention and stuff like that, you've read all of the books by like, you know, mm -hmm. whatever, you've seen everything, then I this is something that you should try to go ahead and see. Now, I would I would say this, me personally, just me personally, mm -hmm. if I have to 
Chuck, uh, I would my my daughter would not go to this, uh, and it's not even because you know she does she likes the Mandalorian, but she would not watch the original Star Wars thing. But that is not a discussion I want to have with her if she has to figure out if she should go or what about this? Like it's like no, this is like four grand. You got to go or you stay at home and you know you watch in my house. Like there's there's no option. Um, <laughs> you watch. Yeah. You're watching my you're house. house watching your you're house, your house sitting. Sitting. Yeah, because yeah, there's there's nowhere about it. And so yeah, I would say I would have high expectations if I was to partake in something like this, and that would scare me personally. Uh that, that would scare me because if all it was is like, okay, well, you got a hotel and you look out in space, and it's just space, like, well, no, that's I pay that much. I want lightsaber fight or not lightsaber fight, but you know, something crazy happening. Um, but I wouldn't I, I would see that. I can see that. Yeah, but I mean, just for the sheer enthusiasm of there being something new, uh, just for the sheer point of it's still an outside IP. And if they know that this kind of stuff will work for a theme that you would potentially have other theme hotels. I mean, like if this was a Marvel hotel and they were like, hey, look, part of this thing is is you go on a battle cruiser and like part of this is is like you get to have Wolverine's closet, you fight Magneto in the danger room, five thousand dollars. Like, you know, like you say with the fancy baseball camp, I cannot turn that down. Like I it would be very tough to build up the money to do that, but I'd have no fear of like you wouldn't see me for three years because I'd have to work that many jobs to pull up the money, but oh yeah, I mean if you have an imagination, right, you got to be game to do that. And we're going to just take a second and thank our lovely Patreon supporters. There they are. And in fact, what you see here is our first Patreon supporters that we've ever had. Definitely appreciate it. And look, if you want to up your support of the Magic Our Way podcast, go to patreon.com forward slash magic our way. There you'll find five awesome tiers from which you can choose from to help support the Magic Our Way podcast. Again, go to patreon.com forward slash magic our way. 